today we'll be getting into my four pattern model. First things first is I noticed that Maslow's hierarchy of needs were certainly integrated into the model of, uh, of spiral dynamics somehow. I just couldn't figure out exactly how. And I started to look at the patterns. And what I noticed is that there had to be some kind of physiological needs going on and then esteem and then, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, because, you know, they're, they're, they're one, they're united in, in some way. And what I realized is that the physiological needs connect to beige. And I started going, you know, following a, a pattern. Uh, and then I realized that not only is this pattern applicable for the first few stages, it keeps going until forever, until clear. And so this will be consistent throughout the stages. First things first, physiological, that refers to what you need to live and avoid death. So therefore I included physiological with safety. So if you don't want to die, you will have a shelter. If you don't want to go through pain, you will make sure that your, your body is taken care of. You have clothes on your back uh, and stuff like that. So that even though Maslow included safety, I just assumed Maslow wasn't as holistic because he was, you know, he was in yellow, uh, you know, at most. So that's why he didn't see it in this way. And so the next stage is purple magenta. In purple magenta, you have the biological needs that are being taken care of. In what sense? Community. What do you do in, magen in, uh, in purple magenta? You create tribes and you have closeness between the tribes, between the people in the tribe. And really it's for the sake of family. So you have uh, connections, so you have reproduction going on. And so therefore, the, the sense of belonging is a natural byproduct of that, of having a community, getting close to people, and reproducing. So your sense of belonging comes with that. And obviously, belonging leads into esteem, feeling good about who you are and what you're doing within your tribe or within your community, within what you've uh, accomplished or built. And that's great, right? But it's not enough eventually some kind of uh, higher calling comes into them once they pass the 50% zone and they say to themselves, I want something more, there is something more. And they pursue some kind of unseen truth. They Either they think more philosophically or deeper or they have a, a spiritual awakening, but then they realize that there's something more and they reach a, a state of transcendence. They go above the self in some fashion. And that's why blue is able to come close to God, come close to uh, a higher truth about the universe, about who and what they are. It's because of that. So that was uh, what I realized. And then I took this into other stages. I started applying it to um, orange. Orange is interested in, in physiological needs. So I am aware that orange is interested in status and, you know, it's like the unspoken truth. But later on, I realized the physiological needs and the, the desire to, to show off your luxury, to feel integrated, is very interconnected. And I believe that it's kind of beige repeating itself. And in green, you're interested in the community once again. And then once you get into the next stage, yellow, you want to steam. And so there's a lot of uh, drive to be someone important, to go on this journey, to feel like there's more to life. You start creating models be because you want to feel important in society. You know, when I started realizing this, I was probably in stage yellow. I mean, this particular model, maybe a little bit later, uh, like in Coral, but, but in terms of thinking about the models and thinking about the direction of things based on the models, that was uh, a yellow thing. Because I wanted to, it was drive. It was wanting to, uh, to be someone important. Once you get into actualization in turquoise, or once you get 50% past yellow, you have an awakening. And that's when you, the, the overload of thoughts is tremendous. And you, something opens up in your mind. And then you reach transcendence once again. In this case, the no self is the most common realization. Whereas in, uh, in stage blue, the no self, the all, probably look a higher calling, a higher purpose, or maybe 
a similar experience, just not knowing how to interpret it or relate to it or even remember it properly. You know, who knows? Uh, I'm sure people do. But it just wasn't, uh, it's just a different experience, a different tr type of transcendence. And so I believe that I'm entering into stage clear. And so once again, I went through this again, but we can do that one more time. What happens in stage coral? You have a desire to prove yourself. So it's, it's kind of connected to esteem, but not really. So what you do is you want to make sure that you have your biological needs taken care of, you're safe, you want to feel comfortable, right? You want to feel people aren't trying to attack you and your opinion is respected. You know, there's a lot of things that connect to what it means to you to avoid death and to avoid pain, depending on your specific needs in that specific stage. And then once you get into uh, teal, then again, you're craving community, craving intimacy. Uh, now, reproduction is different. I don't know. The way I think teal understands reproduction is it'll be pleasurable to raise a child, but it's not what their fixation is. Their fixation is that other people are their children. Other people are both their children and their brothers. It's the same thing. Everyone is one and equal. Now, that, that, help, that happened also in, uh, in turquoise. Did I skip a stage? No, yeah, that happened also in turquoise. But it's, um, but it's deeper uh, for two, at least two reasons. Basically, in turquoise transcendence, you're still adjusting to the realizations and you're more fixated on finding peace and holism. And therefore, the truth about the interconnected nature of our minds and our nature is less emphasized. Okay, let's backtrack. Well, going forward to esteem in Aubergine. So f the first 50% of Aubergine uh, you want to live. So it's actually swapped. It looks like you're pursuing physiological because I found that I was eating a lot of donuts for the sake of having fun. I was uh, going skydiving or whatever. I wanted to do exciting things. I wanted to be uh, feel alive. But really, it had to do with feeling on par with what the human race is doing. So you'll, you'll want to do what the, race, the human race is doing. So they're interconnected once again, and that's noteworthy, that the physiological stuff and the esteem stuff somehow are very interconnected. Now, actualization in Aubergine, so far, I believe I'm entering into the transcendent zone of clear. And what you have is you have some paranoia that starts to bud because what did you have in yellow halfway? You had a lot of paranoia. You had a lot of confusion. So now it's the same thing, just on a much smaller level. Let me think of anything going on that would indicate the actualization. Well, I'm able to make this chart. <laughs> I'm able to figure things out. You know what next steps to take because that's part of actualization process. And then in stage clear, you have transcendence. You have a new realization of your nature once again. And part of that realization is stuck around by the fact that you have your needs met. So you have lower needs met then the new phase of transcendence, the clarity of what it means to not have a, a true self to your nature, you know, that becomes more and more felt and it becomes clear. So I was actually thinking of the post-stage clear, it might be, you know, might be topaz and, and after topaz it might even be uh, aquamarine because these stones are clear. By nature they're clear and they usually have a tinge of some color. So that's why uh, I would label them some kind of clear stone just with a tinge of color since you're really dissolving your previous conceptions of what the self is. So there you have my four potter pattern model. I hope you uh, found this clear enough for starters. And if you have any questions, please ask and I will do my best to answer. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, have a great day.